I'd like to take you to a movie tonight, that is, if you can go. Whatever happened to that guy anyway? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV characters who vanished without a trace. Hey, Dr. L, Mrs. Olsen is here for your 930, and be forewarned, her voice is very loud. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at characters on TV shows that disappeared with little explanation or logic. I thought I was going to get that big Mentos commercial, but apparently they didn't think I was fresh and full of life, stupid schmucks. <laughs> Number 10, Ben Geller, Friends. Everybody, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Yeah, this is Ben. Oh, hi, Ben. Hi, Ben. Although Ross's son Ben was raised by his ex-wife and her partner, the neurotic paleontologist always made an effort to be in his son's life. Well, at least until the last few seasons of Friends. Who can forget his attempt to get Ben to connect to his Jewish heritage by dressing up as the holiday armadillo? Wow, thanks! You're welcome, Ben. Merry Christmas! Ooh. And Happy Hanukkah! <laughs> However, the last time we see Ben is midway through season 8, with him hardly being mentioned in the final two seasons. This coincides with the birth of Ross and Rachel's daughter, Emma, whose storylines largely took the place of Ben. Even Ross's father seemingly forgot he had another grandchild during Emma's birth. Number 9. Jackie Ames, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Wait, I thought there were going to be other people here. Well, there were. They left. Jackie, played by Tyra Banks, is introduced in Season 4 of Fresh Prince as a childhood friend of Will's from Philadelphia. Their deep emotional bond, which predated most of the other characters on the show, coupled with clear sexual and romantic tension, established a delightful will-they-won't-they they dynamic. Maybe there's a little hope for me yet? Very little. <laughs> Unfortunately, nothing would ever come of it. Even their friendship seemed to be destroyed after her final appearance and rather abrupt disappearance. The last we ever see of Jackie is her being driven home from a party to distance herself from an inebriated will. Look, I've had about all I can take of this damn thing. Carlton, would you take me home, please? <laughs> Number 8. 7. Married with Children. Is that the one who's gonna give me money? Yeah! That's the rich one! <laughs> Go bond with him! <laughs> Introducing a young child to a family-based sitcom late in the game rarely works out, a mistake that Married with Children learned the hard way. A rambunctious young cousin of the Bundy family named Seven was introduced to the show in an effort to boost ratings. But fans despised him, feeling his character was out of place with the raunchy Bundys. Does it have a lot of action and stuff? Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> Seven was dropped from the show and quickly forgotten by the family. The series had some fun mocking the trope it had fallen into, however, having Kelly literally forget about Seven and showing his face on a milk carton. <laughs> Number seven, Buzz Hickey, Community. And Mr. Winger is a teacher. You know what that means? It means he gets your meatballs. The introduction of the curmudgeon criminology professor Buzz Hickey, played by Breaking Bad alum, Jonathan Banks, was part of Community's return to form in its fifth season. After the departure of main characters Troy and Pierce, Hickey was a welcome addition, with his gruff exterior and hidden depths quickly endearing him to fans. However, Banks left Community the following season to reprise his role for Breaking Bad's spin-off Better Call Saul. Unlike other characters, his departure was never truly explained, and he was barely mentioned in passing. However, eagle-eyed fans have spotted an email with the title Buzz Hickey Memorial Services, which we hope was just a morbid retirement party thrown by the Dean. Is Duncan okay? He'll live, but his food's gonna taste like burnt aluminum for a while. Number 6. Mr. Turner, Boy Meets World. Listen, if anything comes up and the offer stands, you call me at home anytime you need to, okay? One of Corey, Sean, and Topanga's youngest teachers, Jonathan Turner could relate to the kids in a way others like Mr. Feeney never could. Mr. Turner even became a guardian for Sean when his father temporarily disappeared. One of the most emotional moments in the show's run came when Turner got into a motorcycle accident that landed him in the hospital in dire condition. Don't do this to me, John. I don't do alone real good. Following that dramatic twist, Turner was conspicuously absent for the rest of the show's run, only getting a joking reference about being on the other side of the school. Hey, Mr. Turner, wait up. <laughs> Thankfully, Turner would finally reappear in the spinoff Girl Meets World, still friends with his former students and their children. Corey, what are you teaching today? I don't know, I'm probably making something up. Number five, Caitlin, Heroes. 
Tell me you lost your memory of tonight too, but don't pretend I'm stupid. The second season of Heroes introduced a number of new storylines and characters, including new major players like Monica, a girl from New Orleans, with the power to replicate any physical activity she viewed. Please, let me go, I swear! I was only trying to help somebody! Despite her status as a main character, she never appeared in another season, but at least her fate wasn't tied to an unresolved cliffhanger. Sadly, the same can't be said for Caitlyn, Peter's girlfriend who time-traveled alongside him to a horrific future where 93% of the world had been killed. While Peter traveled back to the present, Caitlyn was left behind. The future she existed in was rewritten, and Peter just never bothered to figure out what happened to her. Are you sick? Are you sick? What the hell's going on? Take them to decontamination, now! Number 4. Beiruz Araz, 24. I'm sorry. This is my fault. 24 was notorious for constantly putting its characters in peril, and then never returning to them. One of the most notorious examples of these unresolved cliffhangers was when Air Force One crashed, with the president surviving, only to never be seen again. Even more famous was Beruz Araz, whose disappearance was so shocking that fans adopted the term Beruzing when referring to characters who vanished without a trace. Your mother is dead. No. I don't believe you. Beruz was an instrumental character in the fourth season last seen kidnapped by terrorists and in grave danger. While two separate resolutions to his story were filmed, neither made it into the show, as both cut in order to make room for other storylines. What are you talking about? Number 3. Mandy Hampton, The West Wing I may have just gotten back into the business this morning, but I didn't come by way of a turnip truck, you know what I'm saying? Another show famous for its characters quietly disappearing was The West Wing. The characters that vanished were often jokingly said to have been sent to Mandyville, so named for Mandy Hampton. We should get back to work. Mandy was a main character in the show's first season, a key member of President Bartlett's team, and the White House media consultant. Over the course of the season, however, she appeared less and less, and by season two, she was gone without explanation, never to be mentioned again, even in flashback episodes where she should have been present. I like it. Number two, Chuck Cunningham, Happy Days. My old roommate just moved out, why don't you move in with me? While Mandyville and Beirusing apply to specific shows, Chuck Cunningham Syndrome is the broad catch-all for characters who disappear from a show with little fanfare. The term, of course, refers to the older brother character on Happy Days, Chuck Cunningham, who appeared in the show's first two seasons, and who was played by a pair of different actors. Hey, this is terrific, Sue. Can I have some more? Starting in the third season, supporting character Fonzie began to increasingly share the spotlight with Richie Cunningham while the sporadically appearing Chuck disappeared altogether. Hey, wait a minute, Rich. Make sure you get the ball in the picture. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. So, you guys my new residents? How long do we have? Four hours. I usually love a good countdown, but this is bad. This is really bad. Hey, that's a great idea. Yeah, I mean, it would be a lot of fun, and it's something the school would really appreciate. Yeah. Number one. Judy Winslow, Family Matters. Um, so Grandma, are you gonna be a June bride? In perhaps the only example of Chuck Cunningham syndrome worse than the original, the youngest member of the Winslow family, Judy, seemingly ceased to exist overnight. Like many others appearing on this list, her absence was never acknowledged by her family or anyone else. In fact, Judy and the rest of the original main cast became largely expendable as Family Matters turned into a show centered on their neighbor, Urkel. There were plans for Judy to reappear in the show's original planned finale, but the series was cancelled before this could happen, and as a result, her fate will likely never be known. You're supposed to use a sponge. I did, but I still didn't get all that glue off my tongue. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.